This is the fourth video of the Makey Makey Monome tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about the processing sketch that I wrote to generate, record, and play music. There are infinite ways you can manipulate sound using the Makey Makey Mono. It all depends on the computer code that interfaces with the device. MaxMSP, or the open source equivalent Pure Data, is a popular programming language for controlling monomes, but the learning curve can be steep. The simplest code is a step sequencer that I wrote using Scratch, a visual programming language designed for kids. To get up and running with Scratch, check out the step-by-step -step instructable Simple Makey Makey Monome, which you can get through a link on my website, jdubois.com. Processing is a visual programming language based on Java. I think this language offers the perfect level of functionality and complexity without being too cumbersome for beginners. In the rest of this video, I'm going to cover the processing sketch that I wrote to generate sound and control the Makey Makey Mono. Programs written in processing are called sketches. To use the Makey Makey Mono sketch that I wrote, begin by installing processing from their website. Download all of the code in the complete Makey Makey Mono GitHub repository. Check my website for a link. Finally, open monomevisual.pde and click the arrow to run the sketch. To use the sketch as a standalone program to generate music, click No Serial. But if the reprogrammed Makey Makey is plugged into your computer, the processing sketch can send and receive serial data to the board so that when you click a button on the processing sketch, it changes the button on the Makey Makey Mono and vice versa. We're going to use the monome as a step sequencer or drum machine. The sequencer loops through the X axis and at any given step plays all activated sounds on the Y axis. Each row corresponds to a different sound which you can turn on or off by clicking the buttons on the processing sketch or by touching the Makey Makey mono. The looping speed can be controlled by adjusting the tempo slider. To clear the mono, click the clear button or press the C key. There are a total of eight different sounds, one for each row, all WAV files, that are labeled 0 through 7. You can replace these files with other sounds so long as the naming structure remains the same. In addition to an audio folder, you'll notice that there's a file folder with 10 text files. These files are used to save patterns of notes. While the sketch is running, to switch between the files, simply press a number on your keyboard. There are two different ways to save. The first is to take a snapshot by either clicking the camera icon or by pressing the S key. A snapshot stores the exact state of the monome at the time the snapshot was taken. A recording, on the other hand, keeps track of the notes that you press as well as the time that you press them. You click the recording button or press the R key to begin recording and press the button again to stop recording. When you play back the file, it turns buttons on or off in the order and timing that you originally saved the beats. That covers the Makey Makey Mono processing sketch. Please feel free to do a pull request if you contribute or improve the code. Thanks a lot for tuning in. For more information, feel free to check out my website, jdubois.com.